Hey there guys, it's Kyle here. What do you think about my Community Day t-shirt? <laughs> oh man, I got this as a late birthday gift, which uh, <laughs> I love it. I even wore it uh, during Dust Gold Community Day, so <laughs> yeah, I love this shirt. <laughs> well anyways, speaking of Community Days, uh, there was a blog post uh, yesterday uh, and there was a video uh, about a guy that works for Pokemon Go uh, doing the first episode of Deep Diaries. And the first episode was about Community Days, which is kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> and in that video, uh, there was a hint about the next Community Day in Pokemon Go. And yes, the next Community Day has been announced. And uh, in that hint, uh, in that video, uh, it is an Electro-type Pokemon from the Sinnoh region. So that hint is a huge giveaway because here's the thing. Uh, uh, there were, um, I think I heard about uh, Shinx photobombs, uh, Dynamine and things like that. Uh, like a lot of people were thinking that we're getting a Shinx community today. And I was just like, oh, I'm not quite sure. Uh, and uh, there's also other um, electric type Pokemon from the center region that could be it, like Rotom and uh, Pachirisu. Uh, but those don't make any sense at all for a community today. And uh, there's Magnazone, the evolution of uh, Magnemite, which Magnemite is from the Kanto region, so that doesn't make any sense. Electivire is the evolution of Electabuzz, which Electabuzz already had a community day from last November, so that won't make any sense at all. So, yeah, Shinx is obviously the answer uh, for November community day, and it is confirmed. We are getting a Shinx community day. I never thought that this would actually happen. So you can normally get Shinx from raids and uh, eggs. It has never been a spawn in the wild. So, which is, which is kind of cool. I'm so looking forward to Shinx community day. And uh, the event will be on Sunday, November 21st from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. in your local time zone. There's gonna be three hour lures and three hour incense. Like, every other community day that we had so far. Uh, there's also the community day special research for $1. And that special research is called, here, let me go find it. Uh, here it is, flash, spark, and gleam. And there is going to be photo bombs. Uh, you can get photo bomb by Shinx five times. And uh, the community day box is going to be uh, a price of twelve hundred eighty coins, featuring uh, fifty ultra balls, four incense, four star pieces, and elite charge TM. Uh, Thirty ultra balls will be available in the shop at no cost. Be sure to pick them up during the event. And the bonuses uh, for the Shinx community today is gonna be increased spawns of Shinx, uh, one fourth A catching distance, which isn't really the best uh, bonus for community today. I like the three times catch Stardust. Um, if I had to pick uh, between like the three times catch Stardust, uh, the three times catch XP and the one fourth A catching distance, if I had to pick uh, two of those bonuses, I guess the one fourth they got you in distance and the three times catch starters would be nice. Uh, so, um, yeah, like I said, three hour incense, three hour lures, and there's two extra bonuses uh, to celebrate the last community day before the December community day recap. And uh, once the in, uh, all the details for the December community day come out, I'll make a separate video about it. Uh, and those uh, two extra bonuses are three times transfer candy, 
and four times chance of earning XL candies when transferring Pokemon, which, oh yeah, dude, that is awesome. I don't have a lot of XL Pokemon. And the exclusive move uh, for Luxray is going to be a very interesting move for sure. It's gonna be Psychic Fangs, which is a shield baiting opportunity, and it's a new move that is not available yet in Pokemon Go, so. And and why did I say a shield baiting opportunity? Because it's, it's a move that's gonna do only 40 damage, like Shadow Punch, because Shadow Punch was the exclusive move for Gengar during Ghastly Community Day. And, uh, and with Psychic Fangs, you can do super effective damage against fighting and poison type Pokemon. And it's a guaranteed chance to lower your opponent's defense in PvP. So, I can see uh, Psychic Fangs having some play for Luxray in PvP. Because I, I don't, right now, I don't think Luxray is even that useful. <laughs> So, yeah. And, uh, yes, uh, uh, this is another Pokemon that's already shiny in the game. So, yeah. I still prefer new shiny Pokemon released during Community Days. So, yeah. Oh, uh, man. But I'm still looking forward to Shinx Community Day. This should be fun. Seeing Shinx in the wild. Come on! Like, let me know in the comments below about your thoughts about Shanks Community Day. I am so happy that we are actually getting uh, a raid exclusive Pokemon uh, spawning in the wild for a Community Day for six hours. Come on, dude. So if, if you guys are a new player, if you don't know uh, uh, what the Shiny Shanks family looks like, here it is. I already have a shiny Shinx, and I also have the shiny Top Hat Shinx. So at least I'll be clean, I'll be completing my shiny Shinx family. So at least that's cool. Uh, and I wonder, and I wonder if Shinx will still spawn in the wild after Community Day. If you guys have any uh, answers. Uh, uh, about my uh, to my question, what do you guys think? Will Shinx be available in the wild after Community Day, or it's gonna go back to uh, a raid exclusive Pokemon? Just tell me in the comments below. Well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel, drop a like on this video if you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time on the next video. Bye bye.